Hello and welcome to another Planet Destiny video. I love this part of the tower. I wish the Iron Banner came around more often. Let's see what he has this time. For Hunters, he has a chest piece with Intellect and Discipline. Increase Hand Cannon Ammo, Solar Recovery, and Solar Armor. He also has Hand Cannon Ammo and Shotgun on here. Actually looks pretty cool. I like the dog tags on it. For the Gloves, we have another Intellect and Discipline Armor piece. Fastball, Grenade Throw Distance, or Impact Induction. Bonus Grenade Energy on Melee Hits. And then we have Hand Cannon Loader. Moving over to the Titan, we have a chest piece with Intellect and Discipline as well. It also has Auto Rifle Ammo and Shotgun Ammo. It has Void Recovery and Void Armor. The Gloves this time have Discipline and Strength with Rain Blows Increased Melee Attack Speed, Momentum Transfer Gain Bonus Melee Energy on Grenade Hits, and Sidearm Loader. For Warlocks, we have a chest piece with Intellect Discipline Stat Rolls, Auto Rifle Ammo, Sniper Rifle Ammo, Arc Recovery, and Arc Armor. Pretty good for Stormcallers. For Gloves, we have Intellect Discipline again with Snap Discharge, Increased Melee Attack Speed, Momentum Transfer, and Pulse Rifle Loader. Overall, pretty good armor for the Warlocks. For Weapons, the, this, uh, this hand cannon here has Relentless Tracker, Hand Loaded, Small Bore, Feather Mag. Truthfully, I'd probably go with either Hand Loaded or Feather Mag on here. Probably Feather Mag. The, it does have a 10 round magazine size, and then it has Third Eyes. So these two perks work really well together. Problem is, hand cannons just aren't in a really good place right now. Now this one doesn't really do a hell of a lot, aside from give you more awareness, which is fine, but I'd prefer something along the lines of Outlaw and Firefly. Basically, I want Fatebringer. However, the machine gun at rank five is definitely worth the grind this time. You have Accurized Ballistics, Spray and Play, it only has a 35 round magazine. We have Fitted Stock for more stability, Hand Laid Stock for even more stability, or Reinforced Barrel. That's the one that I'd choose on here. And then my favorite perk, Crowd Control. Kills this weapon, grant bonus damage for a short time. Really nice on machine guns. If you go into a room, a lot of people there, you can just start mowing through people. Just to compare the stats with the raid shot, or with the raid machine gun, you can see this one does have a little bit better reload, but slightly less magazine size. So personally, I'm still gonna use the raid one just because it's at 319 and already upgraded. But if you're looking for a good machine gun, this one is definitely it. Now, of course, the emblems and shaders are the same this time around, so we're going to skip down to the weekly bounties. First up, we've got Iron Gauntlet, which will require that you go on a 10 kill streak, get 5 double kills, the top overall score in a game, and reach Iron Banner rank 4. The next weekly bounty is Iron Marathon, which will require that you complete 13 matches total and get at least 7 wins in the Iron Banner. The final weekly bounty is Iron Versatility, which requires that you get 50 primary kills, 25 special kills, and 13 heavy weapon kills. Completing any of these will grant you a whopping 5,000 EXP, 525 Iron Banner standing points, and 25 legendary marks. For the most part, these aren't actually too hard to complete, and you should get them done just as you're playing along in the tournament. Alright, next up for the daily bounties, we've got Familiar Iron for a measly 13 primary kills. Iron Domination, which requires that you win an Iron Banner match with a score of at least 2,500 points. And finally, Iron Hued, which asks that you win an Iron Banner match with any Iron Banner emblem or shader equipped. Again, super easy bounties. You guys should be able to get this done in no time flat. But that's pretty much it for Lord Saladin's inventory this time around. The big ticket item, in my opinion, is definitely the machine gun. Bretomart's stand looks fantastic. It's pretty much matching the old school BTRD, and it comes with crowd control right off the bat. And with that, I wish you Guardians luck in the Iron Banner. Also, according to the weekly update from Bungie, the drop rate for weapons has been increased across the board. You should start seeing drops once you hit rank 2. And additionally, when you hit ranks 3 and 5, you should receive a faction package from Lord Saladin himself that can contain Iron Banner gear. There's plenty of ways to get your loot this time around, so I hope you Guardians get your hands on it. As always, I am the Black Link. You guys stay frosty. This has been Patrick Casey with Planet Destiny. Your guide to the Destiny Universe.